Hey guys, what's going on? I know it's been a while since I made another video, so I got one for you today. So today, I wanna to talk to you about my intake, right? So basically, um, I had this old intake with like a little recirculating pipe on the middle part. I'll post a picture up here right now that you guys can see. So what happened is, for the longest time, because I'm bent to atmosphere, I didn't use that part, right? So I just blocked it off. So what happened is it was creating a bunch of turbulence inside and it really wasn't helping out my air fuel ratio. I was washing my gauge all the time. This, it was just so bad. It was going crazy. It was everywhere. It went from 13 to 17 and it just was not consistent at all. So what happened is this old one here is aluminum. It's a little like three inch aluminum from SDM Tune. So we tried to cut it off right here. This little pipe that I was telling you about. We tried to cut it off, uh, close it up. That way it can kind of like help the airflow, but because it's aluminum and it's a manador bin, it was really hard to kind of get it done. So we just said F it. Let's just get a new intake, leave this one for scrap or whatever. And um, had some new ideas come out. So basically this intake is the same shape, same bin, everything as that one. So it's, just, it's the same thing basically, but this intake is from a, old rusted out three inch cut out piece of an exhaust from my muffler shop that was scrap uh yeah it didn't look it didn't look like that when i got it trust me it looked like that but like a lot more brown so what happens is i just cleaned it up got the uh, steel wool clean out the inside got my wire brush a wire wheel brush, cleaned up the inside, put it on my drill and all that. So, let me tell you, it runs so much better. This is what you need to make your turbo flutter like this. And like this. So, first thing is you need is a nice straight intake piping because what happens is if it's straight, um it can help it breathe a lot easier because you know uh if it i don't know i read it somewhere but if it's straight like before the turbo uh it's gonna help it dose a lot better which is basically flutter and it's gonna also help it be louder and you know all that stuff so because what happens is this uh this intake piping i had it reversed to where well hold up, like this uh more of the straight pipe was facing up and like the like the little bend was uh, right in front of the turbo so it wasn't really like as good as it is now so that's one that's number one have a nice straight intake pipe right before the turbo because that's going to help it up uh, that's going to help it a lot more second thing is uh, depending on what turbo you have you want to have either a six plate design which is like that. So there's six turbine blades, one, two, three, four, five, six, because the six blades have a lot of uh, space in between the blades. So that's gonna have it um, suck in a lot more air and it's gonna, you know, be louder, push a lot more boost at lower uh, turbine speeds than other ones like a seven blade or 11 blade, because, you know, less material means less or more air to get in because there's so much room in there. So here's a picture of it. You can see how much space is in between the blades. So that's why I can do that so good. Just because I changed out the intake, here's a little video of how it sounded before. And how it sounds now with this new different intake that I have. That's just from the intake, which is crazy. So third thing is depending on how much boost you're pushing, um, it will change the tone of it. It'll be higher pitch or lower pitch. So if you have a lot of boosts like 20s, 25s, 30s. It's gonna sound really deep like this. But if you have low boost, well, I'm not gonna say you have low boost, not as much boost, like 15, 10, it's gonna sound higher pitched like this. So that's that. And then depending on your intercooler piping, so make sure that you have a metal one, cause if it's metal, there will stay uh, more consistent and it's not gonna expand on you. Uh, fourth thing is your blow off valve. Depending on what kind of blow off valve you have, if you have like, you know, a tile or a stock, or you just don't have a blow off valve at all, that's really gonna help it too. 
so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, i'm gonna post again uh pretty soon about the valve cover because it's gonna get painted or powder coated so there's that and then i'll do some more videos about that about my whole setup and everything for you guys anyways i hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit the like button subscribe for more and i will talk to you guys later